Erica Johnson. Just now. Shared with public. Back to the Future Part 4, The Time Paradox. Scene 1, A New Beginning. Location, Hill Valley, 1990, Marty McFly's house. The camera pans over a familiar suburban neighborhood in Hill Valley. The sun is setting, casting a warm glow over the houses. Inside Marty McFly's house, Marty, Michael J. Fox, and Jennifer, Elizabeth Shue, are sitting at the dinner table, talking about their future. Marty McFly, you know, Jen, things have been pretty quiet lately. No time traveling, no crazy adventures. It's almost like we're living a normal life. Jennifer Parker, smiling, maybe that's a good thing, Marty. After everything we've been through, we deserve a little peace. As they continue to talk, a familiar sound fills the air a loud whoosh followed by the unmistakable hum of the Delorean. Marty and Jennifer exchange glances, their peace shattered. Marty McFly, no way. They rush outside to see the Delorean parked in their driveway. The door swings open, and out steps an older but still lively Doc Brown, Christopher Lloyd, with his trademark wild hair and excited expression. Doc Brown, Marty, Jennifer, we've got a problem. Scene 2, The Paradox Unveiled. Location, Doc Brown's Lab. The Delorean zooms down the streets of Hill Valley, with Marty and Jennifer inside, looking at Doc with concern. Marty McFly, Doc, what's going on? I thought we were done with all this time travel stuff. Doc Brown, so did I, Marty, but something's gone horribly wrong. I was in 2025, checking on the future, when I noticed a massive time paradox, something that shouldn't exist. Jennifer Parker, a paradox? What do you mean? Doc Brown, a paradox, Jennifer, is when two or more events conflict with each other in the timeline, creating a ripple effect that could destroy the fabric of time itself. And this one's a doozy. Marty McFly, so, what do we do? Doc Brown, we have to go back, back to 1885. Marty and Jennifer exchange worried looks, remembering their last adventure in the Old West. Scene 3, Return to 1885. Location, Hill Valley, 1885, the Old West. The Delorean materializes in the middle of a dusty street, horses and wagons clattering by. The town looks just as they remember it, quaint, with wooden buildings and dirt roads. Marty, Doc, and Jennifer step out of the car, dressed in Old West attire to blend in. Marty McFly, this place. It's like we never left. Doc Brown, we need to find out what's causing the paradox. Something or someone here is responsible for altering the timeline. As they walk through the town, they notice small but strange differences, people they don't recognize, buildings that shouldn't be there. They head to the saloon, hoping to gather information. Scene 4, The Stranger in Town. Location, Hill Valley Saloon. The saloon is lively, filled with cowboys, gamblers, and saloon girls. Marty and Doc scan the room, looking for anything out of place. Their eyes land on a man sitting at the bar, Maxwell Tanner, played by a new character actor, a mysterious figure with a confident demeanor and a strange, futuristic device on his wrist. Marty McFly, Doc, who's that guy? Doc Brown, I don't know, but he doesn't belong here. And that device, it's not from this time period. They approach Maxwell, who eyes them suspiciously. Maxwell Tanner, you folks look like you're from out of town. Marty McFly, you could say that. What about you? You seem a little, out of place yourself. Maxwell smirks, his hand moving toward the device on his wrist. Maxwell Tanner, let's just say I'm a traveler, like yourselves. But my plans don't include sticking around here. Doc's eyes widen as he realizes the danger. Doc Brown, Marty, he's from the future. He's the one causing the paradox. Maxwell Tanner, you're smarter than you look, old man. But you're too late. He presses a button on his device, and a shimmering portal opens behind him. Before they can react, Maxwell steps through the portal, vanishing into thin air. Scene 5, Chasing the Time Bandit. Location, Across Time. Doc, Marty, and Jennifer rush back to the Delorean, knowing they must follow Maxwell to prevent further damage to the timeline. Doc Brown, we have to catch him before he creates more paradoxes, 
Hang on, this is going to be a bumpy ride. The DeLorean speeds off, its time circuits glowing as they chase Maxwell through various time periods, 1920s New York, 1960s London, ancient Rome, and even a futuristic city in 2150. Each time, Maxwell causes small disruptions, altering the course of history. Marty McFly, this guy's crazy. He's messing with everything. Doc Brown, he's trying to rewrite history for his own gain. We have to stop him. Scene 6, The Final Showdown. Location, Hill Valley, 1985, The Clock Tower. The DeLorean arrives back in Hill Valley, 1985, with Maxwell close behind. The once familiar town is now a chaotic mix of different time periods, with futuristic skyscrapers towering over 19th century buildings and Roman soldiers marching through the streets. Doc Brown, this is it, Marty, we have to end this now. They race to the clock tower, where Maxwell is preparing to use his device to create one final, massive paradox that will cement his changes in history. Maxwell Tanner, laughing, you're too late. Once I activate this, time as you know it will be rewritten forever. Marty McFly, not if we can help it. As Maxwell begins the activation sequence, Marty and Doc work together to sabotage the device. A tense struggle ensues, with Jennifer helping to distract Maxwell while Doc deactivates the device. In a final, desperate move, Marty uses the hoverboard to knock Maxwell off balance, sending him flying into the clock tower's gears. Maxwell Tanner, new. The device overloads and implodes, creating a burst of energy that restores the timeline to its original state. Maxwell disappears, erased from existence. Scene 7, Restoring the Balance. Location, Hill Valley, 1985, The Clock Tower Square. The town returns to normal as the ripple effect of the paradox ends. The clock tower strikes 10.04 p.m., just like in the original timeline. Marty McFly, we did it, document. Everything's back to normal. Doc Brown, for now, Marty. But we must always be vigilant. Time travel is not something to be taken lightly. Jennifer Parker, let's hope we don't have to do this again. They all share a relieved laugh, but the weight of their adventure lingers. Scene 8, A New Hope. Location, Doc Brown's lab. Back in Doc's lab, the DeLorean is once again tucked away, hopefully for good this time. Doc hands Marty a small, old-fashioned pocket watch. Doc Brown, here, Marty. A reminder of our adventures. But let's hope it's the last one. Marty McFly, smiling, thanks, document. But you know, life's never dull when you're around. Doc Brown, grinning, that's the spirit, Marty. The camera pans out as they all gather in the lab, reflecting on their journey. The future may be uncertain, but as long as they have each other, they know they can face anything. End of episode. Like. Comment. Share.